nine eight seven six five four three two one engine ignition and liftoff liftoff of SWAT our first global survey of Earth's surface water to study how this ever-changing resource affects our climate and there we get a nice view from the ground camera and also we switch to the onboard camera now, Denton, you didn't go outside to see the launch, but now we're feeling it inside here in the Mission Director Center, the rumble all around us from launch. Absolutely. And now you're getting a good look at the onboard camera, looking down towards the aft end of the rockets. You can see the, the Merlin engines coming to life there. And this room Not coming to life, really. <laughs> Lots of rumble going on in here. And we're soon going to hear that the rocket is supersonic, meaning it's going faster than the speed of sound, followed by Falcon 9 reaching what's called max Q, the moment of peak mechanic stress on the rocket. Yeah. Look, we get a nice view. Falcon 9 and supersonic. Yeah, just heard a call off of supersonic. Getting a good shot of looking at the onboard camera. Max Q. We just stepped through max Q. Next call is back come. engine chill. And back engine chill, which means getting the second stage engine ready to start. And so which means we'll be coming up on stage separation shortly, followed by stage two ignition. We see this beautiful shot of all of the uh, Merlin engines, all nine of them lit up. That's what 1.7 million pounds of thrust look Lots like. Lots of thrust. So the next callouts are going to come in quick succession, so let me walk through them really quick. So at T plus 2 minutes and 15 seconds, we're going to have main engine cutoff, that's MECO, meaning the nine Merlin engines on the first stage are going to shut down. And then a few seconds after that, stage 1 and 2 will separate. Stage 1 will do a flip and do a boost back burn to orient itself back towards Earth for that landing here at the uh, Space Force Base. And there we get a good shot of looking at the end of stage. Basically, Nico. the camera is looking up towards the stage second stage. Stage separation confirmed. And we just, and there you go. Live video of stage one and two separating. And back ignition. And there's a good look at the end back ignition coming to the end back engine coming to life. That's great. You are seeing the stage one booster do its flip. And now the engine bell of the end back engine lit up. This is a camera shot of stage one here, again on its way back to Earth. In just a couple of seconds, we're going to see the payload fairing jettison. Fairing separation confirmed. We just heard a call up for fairing separation and there's a good onboard view of the SWAT spacecraft and you can see the fairing is gone at this point in time. Another camera shot here of the engine on the second stage continuing to carry SWAT to its intended target. We have a couple of uh, camera views of this engine here, so you might see uh, a couple stage of different one, angles. Stage one, shut down. Yeah, and, you, and then you'll see it cycling through the views of the stage, um, stage two engine. And um, as we get closer to the separation, it'll, it'll go back towards the spacecraft. And we just heard a call out for the boost back burn ending on stage both stages one. Both are on nominal trajectories. And that call out was just to say both stage one and stage two doing what they were expecting them yeah. to do. And we're hoping to get a video of stage one landing. So sometimes we don't always get it because of it's coming in so fast and sometimes it's hard to capture. So occasionally, occasionally sometimes we don't get it um, all the way, but we're hoping to get a good video this time. T plus four minutes and 10 seconds into the launch of SWAT, and we've had a nominal ascent so far, no issues to report. Again, this is a video of a live shot of uh, the engine on stage two. SWAT stands for Surface Water and Ocean Topography, and this will be the first mission to provide high definition data on more than 90% of the water on our planet's surface. It's a joint mission between NASA and CNES, France's space agency, with contributions from both the Canadian and UK space agencies. 
SWAT is the fourth NASA LSP science mission to launch from Vandenberg Space Force Base and the sixth LSP science mission overall to launch on a Falcon 9, Denton. Yes, and, and we got a, a lot more missions coming up on the Falcon. Yeah, to see uh, the partnership really grow for you too. I mean, again, yeah. you you really work from SpaceX from the beginning. Yeah, absolutely. And seeing seeing their evolution over the the years has has been amazing to watch. So coming up, we're going to see uh, the booster begin its entry burn soon. And again, that entry burn is to slow it down as it as it approaches Earth for uh, the landing here back at the base, instead of a drone ship. Yeah, I mean it's it's awesome to see it come back to land. And as I as I mentioned before, seeing it landing right, very close to where it took off from is awesome. So then, how does this work? So again, we're going to have the entry burn that slows it down, and yeah. then there's a landing burn, right? right? Yeah. So you have the boost back burn that kind of gets it back towards the the launch pad, and then the entry burn kind of slows it down as it's coming into the atmosphere, and then you have the landing burn that basically puts it down gently on the pad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, SpaceX has become real pros at landing yeah. their boosters. Absolutely. And it's becoming routine for them at this point in time. And so this is just a normal course of business for them. Again, we are looking live at stage two. Stage one entry burn. And we just heard the call out for stage one entry burn. It means it's coming back into the Earth's atmosphere. And we, there we go. We got a good video of it. Yeah, so you can see those hypersonic grid fins uh, illuminated by the flame from, uh, from the booster. Burn, those... One, safe. You see that the screen went black there. That's because they just they shut, shut down, down the engine. engine. That's correct. Both stages are As on planned. all trajectories. But I was talking about those hypersonic grid fins that you see. Those help guide the Falcon 9 booster back down towards Earth. So now that we're done with the entry burn, the next burn is the landing burn. Mm -hmm. It's just one engine right just before it touches down. Correctly. Just gently set it, set it down on the pad. The next milestone for the second stage is going to stage be one is transonic. Seco 1. Yeah, and Seco 1 is the first shutdown of the second stage engine. And we're, uh, for this mission, we're going to have two burns. So you'll stage see one, right. after stage 2 shuts down, it'll be close for a while. And then we got a good video of stage 1. It's about to land. How exciting. Coming in for its uh, landing burn there. Again, the grid fins moving ever so slightly to make sure that it's coming down exactly how they want it to come down. Yep, and you could see the pad coming into view. There it is. Wow, wow, the sonic booms. And booms. then the sonic booms. Trademark sonic booms. Wow. And good touchdown of the stage one. Touchdown. Booster. Perfect. Stage oh. one landing is confirmed. 